Hello everybody, Taz Crossblade here with a brand new episode of How to Be Good at Call of Duty 4. Sorry about the long delay between the last few episodes, but school plus homework divided by finals equals barely any time to work on the show. But now that summer vacation is here, well let's just say you're going to see so many new episodes, you'll think I have Double Tap on. Oh, you don't know what Double Tap is. That's right, I haven't gone over the next set of perks. Well, without further ado, I give you episode 4, Perks, Slot 2. These perks can make your bullets stronger, your explosions bigger, and your armor more resistant. And when it comes down to it, these perks are the ones that most directly affect your game. Some stuff like landmines are fun and useful, but only an idiot will use them exclusively. The first perk is stopping power. This is probably the most popular one, and for good reason. It makes all your bullets do more damage, and it's really great because it can amp up the power of any gun and give your playing style a little boost. But don't go expecting to be set apart from the crowd by using this perk. Unless someone has a specific reason to use a different one, stopping power is basically the default setting. The next perk is Juggernaut. This one will increase your damage resistance by 25%. The same amount that stopping power increases bullet damage. Coincidence? I think not. But unless you have the twitch skills of an over-caffeinated 10-year-old, all it's going to do is change one-hit kill shots to two hits. Now in softcore, this perk does redeem itself a little, because it takes the larger amount of health you get and adds to it. So while it doesn't turn you into the Man of Steel with the ability to catch bullets in your teeth, it does save you from random spam shots through the walls. Now you're probably wondering, how do I tell if someone's using this perk? Will they just not die and leave me standing there like, what the hell? Never fear, because when hitting someone that has Juggernaut engaged, in addition to your damage cost, you will get a small health symbol under your crosshairs. So if you ever notice this pop up on your screen when killing someone, remember to pump a few extra rounds into them. Next comes a revolutionary new perk that has changed the way I use submachine guns. Slide a hand will cut your reload time almost in half. This is incredibly useful when using guns with small clips that always seem to be empty. Now, even though you reload at superhuman speeds, don't go thinking you can just reload in the middle of a firefight, just because you want to. Always take cover, or simply go prone when reloading. It will save you from many embarrassing deaths. I know in the second episode I implied that using sleight of hand on a light machine gun was the way to go, but it's not. The reload still takes forever. You're better off using stopping power. On to the third perk. Oh look, it's Double Tap, that fancy new thing I introduced at the beginning of the show. Now, as I implied, Double Tap will speed up your shooting, or production of YouTube videos. It's great for weapons with low recoil that can afford the extra kickback, or weapons with already fast fire rates that you feel need an extra boost. This perk does not work on semi-automatic weapons like the M16 or the G3. Don't use this on weapons with large recoil, such as the AK-47, because you will only be able to get one or two shots to hit them before the recoil kicks in and the rest shoot into the wall a foot above their head. I don't like to use this perk often, except on the M4 carbine, because of its low recoil, it's an ideal combination. Perk 4, or Perk 12, counting last episode, is a strange one. Overkill allows you to carry two different primary weapons. Look at that, I squashed your hopes of dual wielding two MP5s. Not gonna happen, but it is useful for snipers who want a close range weapon, just in case. Usually they use a shotgun as a secondary, but really, that's all it's good for. No one needs an AK-47 and an AK-74 at the same time. But, as a wise man once said, whoever has the most guns, has the most respect. Numero Cinco is a ninja's greatest tool. UAV Jammer allows you to wander free of detection from a three-kill streak-induced UAV sweep. But if you shoot without a silencer, you will still show up, so be warned. This perk usually is used in classes, referred to as silent classes, but that's a topic for later. The last perk for this evening is Sonic Boom. This increases the explosion damage and range of all explosions by 25%. Is anyone else noticing a pattern here? So if you hit a person with Juggernaut on with a grenade and you have Sonic Boom equipped, it will be the equivalent of a normal person getting hit by a normal grenade. Explosive weapons are limited to RPGs, grenade launchers, grenades, claymores, C4, and that's it. This does not affect flash, smoke, or stun grenades, but those don't exactly explode, do they? Well, that's it for today's look into the magical world of perks. Tune in next time for our final look at perks, slot 3. Well, now on to the last segment of the day. Last time, I asked you, the viewers, to send me videos of you playing Call of Duty 4. I haven't received any emails, at all, since I added Circuit City to the spam list, but whatever. So I'm about to ask you again, if you have any videos of you owning, sucking, or just jumping up and down, I want you to send them to me at tazcrossblade at yahoo.com. Well, that's it for today. See you all next time, and remember, I'm Taz Crossblade, and cue credits!